Hello and welcome to the show. We start this week's first episode with Inferno the Fox on GTA 5, racing through a stunt circuit, twisting around through the tubes. The thing is, is we leave this particular one, a big bump draft from behind, car lands on the spoiler, we go for a big 360 before landing back facing perfectly the right way. That crash can go a million different ways. It is amazing that it ended up in the way that had the car pointing still the same way. A Jamser on GTA 5 driving the ramp truck bouncing across a field when physics has had enough. Physics has decided a truck is going to get stuck in a small corrugated building. This is one of the strongest vehicles in the game. One of the most, well, difficult. It does eventually wiggle itself and move itself free, but it's beaten by a small building. Well, beaten by a bit of physics and then a small building. A trail mix up next on V-Rally 4 with a Lancia Fulvia that's decided it's had enough of being on, well, the ground. It wanted to explore some trees and some scenery. It does get teleported back before it can complete its exploration, but still, it had a good go. <laughs> Nixon up next on Wreckfest with the little thrasher racing around the uh, death loop. Uh, things were going okay and then not okay and then all back okay again. Uh, aerial takedowns do not generally end in you losing just one position and pointing roughly the right direction to carry on. Uh, however, that got away with it all pretty damn luckily, I have to say. Uh, Timmy up next also on Wreckfest is playing around with, I don't even know what the name of the truck is, big brutal truck thing. Uh, <laughs> sort of toying with the AI cars when one of them gets eviscerated. That would be a dominator. Uh, now, uh, yeah, this truck is causing a lot of chaos. It actually falls over on its own. I mean, this truck is incredibly strong. It's causing a lot of chaos as it is. But uh, basically, there's a vehicle between the dominator, I'm not sure what it is, between the dominator and the truck. It's something hits there. It just launched. I've never seen a car fly that far on reference. Not from a crash like that. No, not from an impact like that. They got absolutely launched. Uh, we have the first of our SnowRunner clips, uh, Undercover Clown. Uh, now, I love SnowRunner, but it does have its little glitchy, weird moments. And, well, it turns out if you're towing a trailer as a tow rope rather than connected to your truck, things can sometimes go quite badly wrong. Yeah, you are probably guessing what is about to happen. The trailer gets unhappy, physics gets angry. In fact, the trailer's split in half, I think? Or maybe it's just uh, everything went everywhere, and everything is very broken, including the truck, including the trailer. Uh, you're not going to be completing whatever that delivery might have been. I don't even know what set off the trailer. It started getting bumped around, and it was obviously enough just to anger it, and everything went flying everywhere. Sticking with trucks, uh, Foxy Vanilla on Human Fool Flat is trying to get one of the... Vehicles to work. Now, Human Full Flat, very entertaining game, not the easiest to control things like vehicles on. So, we've got an accelerator lever here and uh, trying to control it with that, and then trying to control the steering perhaps with the other hand. The problem is, uh, gets control of the steering to try and do it. Misses, I guess, maybe try to slow the truck down, ends up falling off uh, as you fall off, as fall off, end up sort of launching the throttle, and off goes the truck off the side of the plant, well, off the side of the world, rolled off a rock. Uh, yeah. When things go wrong on this game, they tend to go wrong quite spectacularly. You panic and flail, try to fix them, and in this instance, make it a little bit worse. And when it respawns, the truck's still in gear, still driving forward. Runs over the other person and clatters its way into the side. Uh, I mean, stopping it with your face is a, a way to go. Probably not the best way, but it is a way to go. Now, I don't know what I'm doing up next on Farming Sim 19 with a truck that doesn't know what it's doing in terms of suspension. It was driving along okay when it sort of stops driving along okay. I'm not 100% sure what happened in this particular instance. Something went on. The suspension gave up being suspension, or gravity gave up. I don't know which way round it is because it bounces and pings itself either way round. It kind of lands back on its wheels and it doesn't stop rocking from side to side. It's not even, I mean, you're going to drive around on our side now. That's quite impressive. It's not even like it's, the suspension is sort of glitching up and down. Uh, not, not visually anyway, something is very unhappy with the way it's driving. Like, it was driving fine up until this point. It even stops moving and it's still there, rocking from side to side. Maybe a tire, one of the tires maybe looks like it's freaking out a little bit on the left-hand side, rear left, but I don't know what's going on with this truck in the slightest. It, it does look like somebody has filled it full of helium and it's forgetting how to physics and gravity. It's quite impressive. Speaking of forgetting how to gravity, <laughs> Mike Blatz is up next on City Skyline with a train that's also forgotten how to gravity entirely. We can see there's a train down there working absolutely fine, as it should, uh, but this one is... I don't know where it's come from. I don't know where it's where it's headed from, how it's ended up stuck in the middle of the air. There's no... I don't know if there's a train line underneath it, maybe, but... Nope, this one has just decided... It's a flying train, which has got a flight. It's a flying train and slightly glitchy as it's kind of crashed into one of those. There's 525 people on this train as well. 
That's a lot of people on a fly jet. Maybe there is new advances in city skyline training technology. Maybe. May maybe. I mean, either that or this is the really new maglev technology going on here. It's quite an impressive if it was. A Welsh toast up next on GTR2 with the pit lane being difficult. Yes, this is an AI car and a Porsche that's decided the best idea to start a race is to reverse and remove the rear bumper. I guess there's some weight saving, but you've also taken off the wing. The wing is kind of important. The, you know, aero is important on race cars. I, d I mean, it's, it's not the most ridiculous thing I've seen in a pit lane, but also why? I don't understand why. Uh, Chaos got up next on Project Cars 2, uh, racing around Bathurst. I mean, this is a notoriously tricky circuit, of course. Uh, now, busy trying to uh, change around tyre strategy, gets things wrong over the crest of the hill, uh, loses the back end, the smidge is sort of pinging up against the wall, tries to get back on circuit, loses control, gets collected by a Ferrari and then launched to space. Yeah, I think what compound tyre are you going to be on for the next, next bit? least of your concerns is you're tumbling through the floor. Uh, Friend Stuff 6 uh, is the final uh, clip of today on Project Cars 2 as well, with all manner of shenanigans going on. I think this is Sugo, possibly? I'm uh, not quite sure what the circuit is, but as we come around this blind crest, up ahead there is AI... Probably, no, it's not, I don't know what track it is. Whatever it is, coming up over a blind crest, uh, things are uh, looking okay-ish. The Porsche goes on the brakes, the player doesn't... Well, doesn't go on the brakes at the same time the Porsche does, doesn't realise over the crest there is a huge crash. Uh, now, I don't know what starts the crash, we don't see what begins the crash, but the AIs are all busy checking up and battling with one another. The Audi is uh, doing okay. Um, as we head around here, head up towards this next section, everything is... I'll say everything's fine. The AIs are a bit slow with their various GT cars, but something went on up ahead, and the TT tries to avoid it, but you just can't see over that block. You expect it to be flat out through that section, and it wasn't due, due to the crash. Everything gets stopped, everything gets stuck, and there we go. That's a big shunt. That is a very, very big shunt indeed. But uh, that is going to be it for this episode. As ever, if you have clips you'd like to submit to this series, you can via our forums. Uh, there's a link in the description at the very top of the page. It's the Farris Clips submission section. And there you can find all of the rules and how to submit them. That, though, is going to be it from me. Thank you all very much for watching. And until next time, a uh, goodbye.